Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of Odd Animals. Today we're on to letter L, which in Odd Animal ABCs stands not for lion, but for leaf-tailed gecko. And you may not have heard of these creatures before because they're also really hard to see. They have a tail that actually looks like a leaf that you might find on the forest floor where they're native in Madagascar. And this allows them to camouflage themselves in their surroundings. They also have long flat bodies and they can flatten themselves on the forest floor to keep predators away. So grab your piece of blank paper and a drawing utensil and we'll get started. Today I'm gonna to turn my paper long ways facing me, so long end towards you. For our start of our drawing, we're gonna begin with the eyes over on the left-hand side of the page, about halfway up. So you can see here, I'm gonna do one of them fully and then the other one's gonna be slightly hidden behind his head. So first the one that we see in front, I'm gonna do a little dot for his pupil. And then from there, I'm gonna draw a circle Maybe about the size of a dime around it. From there we're going to move on to the second eye after we do a line across the top for the head. So I'm going to do just a slight curve about an inch and a half long for his head. Now I know where I'm going for the second eye. I'm just going to curve to a half circle shape there and then I'll finish his face. I'm going to start right about halfway a little bit further over to the side here from the top of his face and just draw a U shape that's going to be his mouth curling up towards his foremost eye. So here's my curve for my smile and then under that I'm going to just finish the rest of his face by drawing that up towards his eye and then from there we can add the pupil on the other side so he's looking right at us. Next, I'm gonna add nostrils, two little dots to the top here, and we can add some details onto his face later on. We'll move on to his body then. It's gonna be one big curve from his foremost eye right here. I'm gonna take that around to the other side of my page and curve it underneath. So we're gonna add the tail in along with his back. So it doesn't have to be the perfect curve, right? Just something gentle and then tuck it under. That'll be a portion of his tail. From there, I'm gonna add the legs in. So I have three of the legs that are showing on my illustration here, one in the back and then two in the front. You can imagine the other one is tucked behind his body. So we'll do the back leg first. I'm gonna come a couple inches in from where I'm starting his tail, and I'm gonna draw two straight lines coming up at a diagonal here. The top one, I'm gonna make a little bit longer than the bottom one, so parallel, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between the ends of them there. From those two ends, I'm gonna draw two parallel lines coming straight down towards the rightmost corner of my page. So you can see his bent leg. And then these leaf-tailed geckos actually have five toes and they look a little bit different than some of the other feet we've been drawing. So I'm gonna start as I always have. I'm gonna do not three, but five lines out from his leg. And then they have little toes that are rounded over on the end. So I'm just gonna do a little tiny circle and then I'm gonna connect that with the next toe. I'll just make my way around. There's two, three, four, and five. There's his back leg. We'll move on to the front leg. Then I'm gonna do the one foremost right here. So I'm gonna do two straight lines parallel coming out towards the right side of my page to start. The bottom one, again, can be a little bit shorter than the top, so we can take it down at an angle here. Two parallel lines down. And then we'll do the toes again. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Notice I connected those last, sorry, the first and the last two to his leg already. And then the others I'll connect as I draw that circle and connect it to the toe right next to it. There's our second leg. And then before I do the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the body. So it's just gonna be another curve right underneath his chin here, and then we'll take it back to connect to his back leg here. And this can come underneath his front arm. So just a curve, and there's his belly. And then the front other leg is tucked behind his body slightly, so I'll just do two parallel lines coming down towards the bottom of my page here. And then my five toes, one, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll make those connections with the little rounded toe at the end. 
And then the most important part, of course, is his tail. It has this ruffled effect that looks like a leaf you might see in the fall laying on the floor, on the ground, excuse me. So I'm going to start by just drawing a wavy line about an inch or so away from the middle of his tail here. So this is, if you can imagine, like the vein in the leaf going straight down where the stem would be. Um, but remember, it's actually his tail. It's not really a leaf. We just want it to look like a leaf. So I'll take that right up about halfway from his tail, from end to middle there. And then same thing here. I can just do kind of an organic squiggly shape. There's that. And then I'm going to finish his tail. I'm going to come up to the end of his body here, and I'm going to draw a line that follows this curve that I've already drawn just to connect it. And you notice it gets a little bit skinnier as we get towards the uh, leaf look-alike part here. And then our final details, I'm going to add some lines to his tail so it looks, again, like those veins on the leaf. We'll do that on either side. And then I'm going to do the same thing on his back. They also have a ridge. You can just do a line or two that comes along his backside here. And then again, that same effect, just with a slight curve pointing down. And then I also added some on his face here. I'm going to start small and get a little bit bigger as I go up to the top. There is your leaf-tailed gecko. Come back tomorrow and we'll be on to letter K. Excuse me, letter... Um... Yeah.